Honey, come on in this room, baby. Whew. Why does it look blurry? Hold on. Let me see. Well, hey. Honey, uh, Tab took a little nap before she, before she got on here. Okay, she took a little shower. Honey, then the shower felt right nice, and then she took a little power nap. So here she is. I said, come on in the room. I come on in the room. Hey, hey, Jesus is my doctor. And he writes out all of my prescriptions. And he brings me all of my medicine. In my room, um, honey, Blackie has been trying me this quarantine, okay? Honey, how in the world is we doing? What is going on with this light? Y'all, Tab, Tab just woke up, okay? Honey, this homeschooling, this getting up early with all the instruction, trying to also take a, a conference calls, shoot a, the videos, do everything, honey, honey, I miss, I miss school, <laughs> I miss it, because it's sure enough, uh, takes the day away, okay, um, how are we, hello, Diane, I'm so happy you finally caught a live, come on in this room, honey, mm, and Donna been cutting the food, ain't she, ain't she been cutting up, y'all, I don't know if it's just on my side, but this light ain't right, can y'all see, is that better, Jesus? So I got to be quick. Well, not quick, but we got a good 40 minutes, all right, to get this done. So don't y'all get to talking and get distracted. We're here for a purpose. I got a call coming up. That's why I got to go. But honey, as I looked in my refrigerator, okay, y'all, <laughs> what I realized is I ain't have much of what I thought I had. But I do got... Uh, enough to get done what I want to get done. And sometimes we just got to throw stuff in the pot. Just throw it in there. But, but, oh, Lord, y'all. I got to find Sheena. Oh, you mute. Oh, Lord, she's in the sink. Girl, Sheena. Oh, you mute, y'all. There she go right there. Y'all. Yep, um... Yes, the light of Christ, honey. Very good. Listen, we. What is the eyebrow? I don't even get my eyebrows done, but they and they know that. But lately, honey, they just been doing something different. They've been like, "Girl, we on quarantine too, okay?" Um. So let's talk about what y'all have asked me to make. Many of you said, "Tab, can you make uh, some type of like a fried rice or a, a stir fry with some rice or a, a, a Asian style something, etc." etc then somebody said but if y'all if, if if you if you do do something with rice can you do cauliflower rice because i'm trying to cut back on my carbs and uh etc etc i'm always trying to look out for our carbs too and lord knows honey i done ate many of sandwiches these last couple of weeks all right so i remember when uh the quarantine had started i had bought this because it was about one of the only things left in the freezer section this is rice cauliflower blend. It is blended with roasted sweet potatoes and kale. Okay? See that right there? So we're going to make this. And we're going to, I'm going, because it's my business and I want to do that, I'm going to add some mo chop kale to it. Just because that's what I feel like doing. We're going to add some um, green peas. Because you know how when you um, get like uh, shrimp what is it fried rice they put the carrots excuse me and the peas be in there and stuff we just gonna act like we doing something fancy like that i got this little bit of mushrooms left over we're gonna put them in there we're gonna cook these first got me some green onion that i've been chopping off by the day and i gotta look they they, they hanging on in there with me i'm gonna chop them up some of them in there gonna use some garlic all right gonna use some garlic fresh garlic gonna use some basil Okay, we're going to use some basil leaves. Then, I'm going to use a little bit of the chili paste that we used before. 
and I'm gonna use just a little bit of the teriyaki garlic and green onion to give us a little Asian flair. That's something I just made up, okay? And I forgot I had a couple of these little peppers left. I think I'm gonna chop up just for the color. Maybe a, uh, a little bit of this red, because I want to. Is that all right? Yes, yeah. So let's get it started. Okay, and we know we're gonna use a little grapeseed oil. You can use whatever oil you have, especially during this time. Let us say something real quick. People, I'm in a lot of different uh, groups on Facebook, right? Then I try to pop in as much as I can. Um, vegan groups and such, okay? Y'all, we must stop being so judgmental, period, okay? But especially during this time, you judging what folks are eating, how they're cooking during a crisis, when they are getting whatever is available to them, you telling somebody, oh, you shouldn't eat that kind, or you shouldn't eat that brand, or, oh, you don't need to eat canned foods, or we are on, a, we, we're living through a pandemic right now. This is not the time for you to be judgmental. It's never a time to be judgmental. Okay, message. But especially not now. I, I've actually left a lot of the vegan groups because I don't know what the new thing is. I don't know if it's a competition within themselves. But people are on this high horse where they feel like they have to tell somebody, oh no, that's not how you make that. Oh, no, you don't use it. Just nasty. We got to stop there. We're supposed to be embracing and uplifting each other during this time. But all the time. But especially during this time. Okay? So, um, be mindful. Check yourself. If you're one of those people, if you know, check yourself. Ask, am I one of those people that try to tell people they shouldn't eat a certain way? And am I really judging somebody? Do I got the nerve to try to judge somebody, especially during this time? This ain't the time, all right? Uh, I had somebody tell me, oh, you shouldn't be eating out the can. I said, let me tell you something, hum, honey, with love. And I want you to hear this and hear it well. When they shut down all stores, if we were to ever have to shut down all the grocery stores, if we were to all have to be quarantined for real in our home, because they're saying that that may happen, martial law, right? Uh, let me tell you what fresh produce ain't going to do. It ain't going to last. So you're going to have to have either some frozen bags in the freezer or you're going to have to have some canned foods that will be able to surpass you. Also, I live in California. I keep an earthquake kit, which consists of canned foods. Okay? Now, I want you to think about that and redirect your energy. We love tab. That's how I address that. But... People don't think. Honey, folks is buying what they can and they, they buying what will last. Also, I'm from North Carolina, honey, during the, during the winter time when we would have um, uh, snowstorms and stuff. Honey, canned foods is what we bought because guess what? The power would go out and, and we would have to at least have something, right? In the can, you can use that stuff in the can, okay? Stuff in the refrigerator would go bad. We'd have to put it outside in the freezer, okay? So canned foods... While they should not always be consumed, you don't want to just eat that all the time. Yes, fresh produce is great when we can have it. But there are some times when we cannot. This, this, this is not the time. All right? Sorry, I didn't know I was going to go into that little rant. But y'all, we got to do better. We got to do better. Okay? Very good. So, let us start with our mushrooms. Okay? I ain't got but this little bit left. And my grapeseed oil here. Okay, got that. All right, we're going to put a little bit of, um, well, right much, but not too much. Go ahead and put our mushrooms in. Y'all know I'm going to bring you over here. Use whatever you got left, okay? Oh, I got to get my North cocky, Jesus. Now, let me tell you something. Where she at? Lord, where my North cocky? I am running low. And I want some ginger. I forgot about that too, y'all. Hold your mule. Hold your mule. Okay. So, honey, I'm gonna have to go to the. I'm gonna have to brave it. 
Honey, I'm gonna have to brave it and go to the little Asian market, honey. I'm gonna have to go on that back out to the store, get my little mask on and stuff. I gotta go get me some more North Kaki before this is all over. I can't get stuck without this, can I? Lord have mercy. It's a little bit more on one side, but all right. We got our mushrooms over here. We wanna cook them down first. Put our little garlic powder on them. Put your little North Kaki on them. I'm going to bring you over here. Hold your mute. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of ground ginger. Okay. Because we're trying to make an Asian flavor of some sort. All right. Are we there? Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Somebody said, watch your captain in the stove, honey. You right, child. Okay. I, ain't, I thought I put a lot of oil, but I guess I didn't. We're going to move them around a little bit. Because the goal is to let these cook down just a bit before we add everything else. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. Just a little bit here. And a little bit over there. Because we're gonna, everything we're going to cook is going to be in here. All right. Stir it around. Like so, like that. Because the goal is to cook your mushrooms down so that the texture changes just a little bit. All right? Because this is our AKA meat substitute. We're using mushrooms. So it gives it a little meaty flavor. For those that are kind of missing the consistency of a piece of meat, if you're chewing, mushrooms really help with that. Okay? All right. Let them get the cooking on down. And let's add some fresh... Uh, or not fresh per se, but the chopped garlic, like the minced garlic here. We're going to add some of that in there, okay? Yes. Oh, somebody asked about the ground ginger? Yeah. Let me show you. Ground ginger, like so, like that. Oh, Lord, I forgot about my liquid aminos, Jesus. Honey, didn't I tell y'all, Tab took a, took a little nap before she started? Honey, liquid aminos coming up. Honey, forgot all about it. Thank you for the reminder. Liquid aminos coming up right here. Woo! Oh, you mute, honey. My son is outside. I just heard a little noise out there. Let me go look out there. Oh, you mute. Y'all can see the mushroom. I'll be back in a pair of sec. Out there playing basketball, but I thought I heard something must have been on the other block. Okay, so the mush while the mushrooms are doing what they do, let us get big Fred right here and let's chop up our red pepper that we're gonna add. I'm gonna throw the garlic in there in a pair of seconds. Holy new. Okay, and our green onion. Now, y'all looking at me, can't even see the food tab. Come on, girl, wake up. See that? All right. Garlic. Come on, Shane. Bring y'all back. Okay. Yes. All right. So now add a little green onion. Add our red pepper. Move it all around. Okay. Very good. Now, because we working with frozen, the cauliflower rice and some of the peas. I'm gonna take a couple of these peas. I gotta break this up because I used some of these yesterday. And you know, when you open the bag, they get a little stuck together a little bit. Peas, all right? 
All right. Medium. He's in there. We're going ahead and open our cauliflower. You bring it over here. Wait a minute, let me get my top. Let me top here. Where's my top? How are you, y'all? Put this on here. So you put your top on there for a few minutes so you ain't got to worry about trying to break up uh, the cauliflower, you know, when it's froze together like that, that'll soften it up and then it'll be easy for you to break it apart. Okay? Very good. So while that's, that's just because it's on medium heat, we only need to do that for a pair of seconds or so. All right. I'm going to chop up a little bit more of this kale. I got some organic uh, Tuscan kale. Just because I just want a little extra. I'm going to chop a little bit of that up. So I can just have a little fresh with the frozen. Because that's my business, okay? All right. Now, you can wash this again if you want to. But it come pre-washed. Whichever you decide to do is your business. I'm not judging you. Thank you, Blackie. You talking to somebody out there? What's going on out there? And Blackie trying to tell me something, honey. I'm going to have to hold your mule again. Very good. Just a little bit. We just add just a little bit for fresh flavor. Okay. And let's see. Oh wait, where's my other little thing at? Honey, she gonna get mad when I bring it out. So y'all. And y'all remember last time I brought this out, Sheena got mad and set the kitchen on fire. So. A little easier to, to break, but not as whole. Don't tell Sheen, okay? Hold your mute. Let's let that a few more minutes. Let me go. I gotta go check on my son again. Hold, hold your mute. Oh, he gave it to you? No. Oh, he put it in the box? Oh, very good. Honey, it was the mailman out there. And, and Quest was out there, and Blackie heard that. And Blackie said, somebody's out there with him. Get him. So I had to go out there and check and make sure everything was all right, okay? Very good. Um, Honey, I'm so glad that y'all had watched out for me because, honey, like, y'all remember Sheena? Got mad about that thing. Okay, let's get back into it. Yeah, you want to say hi? Come say hey real quick. Uh, you been outside playing the basketball. And my shirt got wet because I was drinking. You was drinking your water. That's right. Um, it's extra bad because it's my home. Oh, it's all right. It's just water, though. Okay, here we go. All right, so here we are. See these pieces right here that were still frozen? Just break them apart a little bit more. I want, I want to use my little thing, though. Lord, please don't please don't get mad at me, Sheena. Okay, but it's easy to break them down after you let a little steam get in them, okay? And we got, there we go. And we got some potatoes, I mean, uh, the sweet potatoes right there. Okay? Like so, like that. Yeah. And now we're going to take our basil. Now we're just going to use a little bit of basil leaves. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. Tab, yeah. I feel like I need a little bit more red pepper because I can't see them as good as I want to. 
but that's my business. If I decide to put a little bit more in there, that'll be all right, won't it? I think I am. I think I am. Okay. Woo. Very good. Okay, let me chop up. Because the last thing we're going to do. Oh, I can turn the light on, Jesus. So the last thing that you do is you add the kale last because you still want it to have a little bit of a, a fresh crunch to it. And you want it to still be vibrant. You don't want it to cook too much. The other kale in there has already has been cooked and frozen, which is why I want to add some fresh kale to it. But I'm going to add one more red pepper chopped up because that's what I want to do. Oh, you knew. You know, I eat with my eyes, and I like to, like stuff to be colorful. I just feel like a little bit more red pepper do right for my eyesight. Okay? You do yours how you want to do it. And this is so simple, y'all. It really is. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Okay? But when you add this extra red, watch how the color just come out. And even when I add the other... um kale in there. I'm going to add a little bit more garlic powder too. I'm going to bring you around so you can see. Okay? Alright. That's the garlic powder. So y'all can see. Garlic powder. And then I added the red peppers. And let me get Sheena, honey, because she in her feelings. So you just want to move it around. A little bit like so, like that. Okay? Yeah. Honey. Yes, Lord. And then, what else were we going to add? Oh, a little chili paste. I ain't got but a little bit. The chili garlic sauce. Yes. Okay. Somebody said, is it hot? Is what hot? These peppers are not hot. These red peppers are sweet. These are sweet red peppers. They're not hot at all. They're very good. You can eat them raw. You can eat them like you eating a, uh, you know, a cucumber or something. They're very good with hummus and Oh, they're delicious. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and add the chili paste. Hold on, I can't. Production ain't, ain't, ain't here, y'all. So, production ain't worth a hill of beans today. Okay. I got to take this off. I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. In sections. Or a little bit more than a little bit. Okay, I've been doing a little spicy lately here. Okay. Move it on around. Now we're going to add the fresh kale. All right. Yeah, tap. And let me open up my garlic sauce. My teriyaki. And I'll bring you back over here. Hold oh, you. We're gonna use this. We're gonna put it in a little bit of the teriyaki. We'll put this. Not a whole lot because you don't want it to be overpowering with all your other flavors. Don't drench it. Don't drench it with sauce. Just put just enough to give you a hint of the flavor of ooh, ooh, like like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like so like that. Here we are. Oh my God! My God! <laughs> Honey, we finna eat good. Ooh, we finna eat good. We finna eat good. We finna eat good. We finna eat good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, my God, my God. Do y'all are y'all seeing this? Lord have mercy. And it is really done. Honey, we can go ahead and get a plate. Okay, you just make sure your uh, sweet potatoes are, are, are good and soft. Okay, and they are. See so if you can break it with a piece of plastic, honey, you know they're ready. All right? Sheena, I'm not saying that's all you are is a piece of plastic. I, that's not what I meant. Okay, don't get no attitude with me, girl. Ooh, honey, she got about upset with me for... Ooh, she is hot with me today, child. Okay? Now... We're going to go ahead and get a plate. I'm going to put a top on this for right now. Now, I read a funny comment yesterday that somebody said, 
I can't remember which one of you it was, but I died laughing. You said, I want to see if you can try to eat something without an avocado. Why? Why you want me to eat it without an avocado? Because you know what would be good on top of that? An avocado with a little bit of the fresh green onion. And I'm probably finna do that. You know why? Because that's my business. Hold your mule, let me get a bowl. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo-hoo! That's when I know it's gonna be good in my spirit. We're gonna say a good prayer <laughs> and we're gonna plate it up. Did I miss anything? I think that was it. Yes. Uh let me go ahead and chop me a little. Let me go ahead and, and, and chop me a little bit of the green onion. The stove is off. Because we're gonna put that on the top. Uh-huh. Like so, like that. Yeah, yeah. Let me get my avocado. Mm-hmm. Gonna do that. Cause I got this little one right here. Honey, she about done. Look look how black she is. She didn't just turn all the way. She don't even know that she was an avocado. I prayed that when I open her, she's still all right. Because right now, she she doesn't even know who she is anymore. But I believe she's going to be all right. Hold your mute. Okay, let me get my avocado cutter. And let me see what she looked like when we open her up. Okay? Kim, you said that. Girl, I died laughing. Dawn Evans, yeah, I added the greens. Where you was at? Look at there. She's still all right. She's still all right. Blessed assurance. Girl, you still all right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it in the plate. Hold your meat. Ooh. Ooh. Add a little bit more to, for the color. Oh, look, let's get the, this is a facial, uh, Asian-ish stir-fry cauliflower rice uh, facial. Um, yeah, it smells good, too. Smell. You smell that? Ooh. Smell. Ooh, the, the steam, when I sniff the steam, got in my nose. Don't try that at home. Okay, hold your mute. I'm finna show you. Relax. I I'm just gonna slice the avocado up so I can see. So I can see. I mean, you know, I can put it on there and then I show y'all. Oh my lord. Y'all know I was out of this, running out that sriracha. If I had a little bit more, it would take this right on over the edge of the cliff, honey. It would be like, don't let go. But it's gone. And she is gone, okay? The sriracha is gone, y'all. And I ain't had no chance to get out to the, my certain stores. <laughs> yeah. Can y'all see? Honey. Can you... Since Choice playing music in the background, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I'm... I'm on the beat to it. Can y'all see? Let us pray before I even get a fork. <clears throat> oh, Father God, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting us be in the room one more again. Uh, Lord, we, we thank you for this special dish here um, that we have put together through our spirit and soul, God. Uh, we just say thank you, Lord, that, that all the things in this uh, Garden of Eden bowl be nourishing to my body. Uh -huh. Bless everybody watching these things we ask. Oh, in your name. Amen. tab have a midday nap but still probably did, as a baby didn't get that nap out you know when the baby when the little kids wake up before the nap over and, and then they get the cutting up and stuff you're like lord that baby ain't get that nap out tab she didn't get a nap all the way out do y'all see how quick this was you see how quick this was and it would have probably even been quick if we didn't have to talk and stuff yeah y'all was making me talk let's blow it oh ready ready Mm. Still hot. Mm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mm. 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 Mm.
don't they do that thing like that girl when i tell you mm, 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 mm. oh that good with that little sweet potato in there come on come on tab yeah Ooh. Ooh. Kim, what you say? Somebody said she don't see me asking. Honey, what did you add? I'm sorry. Mm. Hear ye, hear ye. Baby, this is good. What y'all ask that I miss? Because you know the questions be coming in and I be focused on the food sometimes. What'd you say? Huh? Garen said a Delta, honey. But don't, you know how the Kappas be, they do that little thing. The Kappas, I know it's the men, but I just said, I don't, because you know, I ain't, I ain't nobody. I ain't no frat, sorry, I'm not, none of them. I just parted at their homecomings. Yeah. Courtney said, can we get a sprinkle from Choice? Let me see. She been in there crying because she looking at, um, what is it, All American? American? What is the show on Netflix? And so, she, uh, somebody died or something, honey. She was in there crying like she was at the funeral, honey. Toe up. I went in there and she was, why did they do this? I said, girl, girl, it's a show. It's going to be all right. But, honey, that's going to be me tonight when This Is Us come on. Honey, this is us had me tore up last week. Do you hear me? Do it do come on tonight, don't it? Ain't tonight the finale. Honey. Listen. Oh, she asked about peanuts or cashews if you had something to put on there. You know what? Dang, I wish I had a seen there. Cause I sure could have made me a little peanut. But if you know what, it's alright. Cause I'd have cooked them in there with it. Like cashews. I got some raw ones. I'd have cooked it right on in there with it. Choice, come here, sis. Bring your phone. Oh, that piece still hard, girl. The people want to get a little quick sprinkle. Mom, I am not looking presentable. Oh, you still? You look alright. No. She still got her pajamas on. We we pajama in it today. I mean, I took a bath just to put this on. <laughs> Just to put pajama back on, a house gown back on, child, and that's my business. Um, I will fall asleep and wake up to the meal already made, honey. Very good, Daphne girl. That's all right. Um, Kim, girl, I missed you, but it's all good. But this is amazing, y'all. Real quick, what time is? Oh, we we did this good. Honey, this this lasted. This took us all of twenty minutes. Honey, all of a good twenty minutes. Who want to bite? Go ahead. I don't. You know what? I prayed over it. So if you got the corona or anything, honey, God gonna bless it. It's gonna be all right. Go ahead. Just grab the little mushroom right there. Hmm. Oh, you don't want it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. My God. That's good. So, you know, that's it, y'all. We came, we saw, we conquered. Shall we have a five-minute Q&A real quick? Mm. I got food up. Honey, it's in a pit. And it's mine. It's a piece of avocado. I just took a bath, so this is a clean palate, a uh, uh, clean chest. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, how y'all know I won't save that for later? Get out of my business. Stop it. You know what? Real quick, what we got? Who got some questions? Real quick. Mm. Before we go, nobody. Oh, somebody asked about the CMOS. How to make it if they got the fresh version? I'm going to do a video, but see, the thing is, I have to make let it soak overnight, and I ain't want to already still have my jar been putting in my smoothies. It's already made, so that's why I hadn't made it. But I'm going to do it, and then the next day, I'll, I'll do it in parts, part one and part two. But I want to make it in one video so y'all can just see it all at once and know what to do. 
But honey, I'm going to do it for y'all. Very good. Honey, what am I doing to keep busy? Oh, Miss Cassie, girl. <laughs> what ain't I doing? Honey, we wakes up. Okay. I'm home I'm a homeschool teacher now. Didn't know didn't know that was my ministry. Still still don't know it, okay? My son starts I I, I cook breakfast. And we start with the breakfast, okay? Then we do a little meditation and do our affirmations. Um and then we start with the lessons. This week he just started with the 45 minute session with his teacher online. Today Tuesday. I said this week like it's been a long time. Um but yesterday was a little difficult cuz the teacher, you know, it was her first time she know she was doing either. She's a little older. Um, as, as, as we all are when it comes to this type of schooling, especially when we all use some traditional schooling. Okay. So she was having a little difficulty cause she ain't never did this before either. So it was a little rough yesterday. Today it was a little bit smooth. Okay. Uh, but we did that from nine to nine forty five. Then we're going to another lesson plan. Okay. And we do the lesson plans for the next, you know, couple hours and we take breaks and then i want to teach him you know some other stuff that we have recess which means you know you go outside and you go play and stuff but there ain't so much you can do by yourself so i teach him a couple of little things in the kitchen teach him what what mommy know or different little games in, in his room we play those but you got to keep an eight-year-old entertained okay they got so much energy in them then i say okay now you're going outside and sometimes we work out together and things in between doing all that i have to find time to work I have to find time to answer emails and things like that. Do my conference calls. Do my Skype, you know, uh, one-on-ones. Shoot, baby. And today, take a nap, okay? Did that. I took, took, took me a good nap, okay? That was all of 22 minutes. Power nap. Didn't get that nap all the way out, but it's all right. Am I going to make an Easter Sunday dinner? Honey, absolutely. Absolutely, I will. Uh-huh. We pray that I get whatever I can at the store um, so that it can be a, a, a real dinner. Okay? Um, make some general um, so Y'all know I call it TSO. I have to make that on the live. And I'm going to have to do that. I don't think I've ever made that. Oh, I'm going to have to. We're going to have to do that. What else we got? How do you feel if you eat something and then find out it wasn't 100% vegan? Um, I don't because I read everything. I read everything because I have allergies. So I can't even take the risk, okay? Um, so, and most of everything else I'm cooking. But if you happen to do that, don't beat yourself up. You are right. I learned very early on um, dealing with my allergies that I had to read stuff because I, I would get sick. Like, you know, I throat get the itching and lips swelling and all that stuff. So, I just have to read it. But if you do and then you find out, honey, you, you all right. Relax. Everything will be fine. Um, let's see. You said you found some um, Saving Fair at Big Lots. I heard that, too. Very good. Yes. You know, the thing about Saving Fair is they do everything fresh. They cook it fresh weekly. And so, if it does not sell, honey, they send it out, right? So, that's one of the things I do love about them. They keep their stuff fresh. They sell, they, they make it and they sell it. So, if it sit, honey, that's why you're going to see it at Big Lots. It, it still be good, but it's just not up to their standards of, like, fresh, fresh, fresh. So, I, honey, go ahead and get that $4, all right? Um, a vegan mac and cheese. I've posted a vegan mac and cheese recipe, but I actually am working on a different one. Um, I love the one that I make, but since, you know, I've been making my nacho cheese that I showed y'all how to make, I was like, oh, I want to do this for my mac and cheese and add a couple other cheeses. What y'all think? I think I'm going to do that. I, that actually might be the mac and cheese that I make for for um, Easter. And we'll, we'll, we'll see that live. Um, let's see, what was y'all saying? Do I ever have a problem with your family eating all your vegan snacks? That's the real reason to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, everybody in my house is vegan. Honey, I understand, though, because before everybody was, uh, my snacks would get missing, okay? But everybody here, with the exception of Quest, when he at school, you know, he I always allow him to eat if he wants a chicken nuggets or if he wants a cheese pizza at school, although I, I make his lunch uh five days a week but there may be one day that he said mommy today they had a pizza party or whatever the case 
I don't say, no, you can't have that. I want him to make his own decisions, right? And I teach him. And when he's home, he eats vegan. But, um, honey, my snacks and stuff get ate up all the time. Everybody, honey, I be high. I got a... I got an ice cream. You know, the so delicious almond ice cream with the little nuts on it. Popsicle. I got one hidden right now in the bottom of the freezer underneath a side that I know don't nobody ever look at because it's where all my frozen fruits and stuff is and, and frozen veggies. I know they ain't looking, looking at that. I got it hidden right under there. It was one left in the box and I hadn't got one from that box. So I took it and hid it. I'm probably going to eat that later tonight. But I want to eat it when everybody in the, in the living room looking at TV. I want to walk in there and I want to sit down and open it up so everybody can see that I got one because everybody think they gone but I can't wait to eat it tonight when everybody see it ain't that petty <laughs> <laughs> and who my business okay that's what I'm gonna do you think I'm lying I'm gonna do it I promise you I'm gonna do it I'm, it, it, I'm gonna do it just so nonchalant Ooh. Honey, I already know when they hear the rapper, cause they like little kids. What, what you got? What you got? Oh, this. I just got out the refrigerator. I'ma act like it was there all along, honey. I can't not. When I say I can't wait, I might try to set the camera just so y'all can see, honey, cause they finna be so mad. Ooh, they finna be mad. Don't tell them though. Don't tell nobody. So anywho, that's it. Mm. Honey, call me Petty LaBelle, okay? Mm -hmm. Or, no, that's Tina Turner. I was going to say, or Petty T or Turner. It don't matter. Anywho, I'm looking at the clock. Let me go get my notes and stuff so I can get ready for my call. I love y'all. Um, I pray tonight y'all have the most amazing night, baby. And I pray tomorrow you have a good day. But, honey, even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go mess up nobody else's here. And please remember what I told y'all earlier. No judgment. Ever, really. But especially not during this time. Okay, let both eat what they gonna eat. Let both eat what they can eat. And be okay with that in your spirit. It shouldn't bother you none what somebody else is eating. All right? If they doing the best they can, you let them do the best they can. Now, it's something else if you see they, they cutting the food. Now, they just cutting the food to cut the food, and you know they got some problems and things, then you can say, now, why are you cutting the food? But you still got to do that with love. All right? I love y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Okay, bye.